Hey guys, it's Camper Dad back. I did a video recently of doing the rotisserie chicken. And in one of those, I had loaded one of the trays just to kind of show this is way overloaded with rice and quinoa and garlic. But now I'm going to actually freeze dry it by itself. <clears throat> Since I'm not going to overload it all the way like I had on that other on the other video. I'm gonna lay it out like it will actually be successful in freeze drying. It's pretty pungent garlic smell. So this was something I found at Costco just on the shelf. It wasn't a frozen or anything. Comes in these bags, a mix of rice and quinoa with garlic. Something that was convenient for me to kind of show the overloading of the tray because I needed something fast. But it actually tastes pretty good and it's something that you uh, then just kind of open the pouch and put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and it's ready to serve. It's a pretty good idea. But since I opened them all, now I'm going to freeze dry them to store them for use later. So hopefully you can see here about how much I'm loading it. Rice is one of those things that stores a lot of water inside of it, and so it takes a while to freeze dry, I have learned. So I am not going to load these trays more than that, <clears throat> which means I'll probably get just all of this rice in four trays. And we'll see how this does. If, it, if there's too much ice that comes out of it, too much water that comes out of it that forms ice, and the ice starts growing in on the tray, <clears throat> sorry, on the shelf, then I'll pull it back out, put it in the freezer, defrost, and start it over again. But I don't know, we'll see. I'll let you know after we freeze dry it. Hey, it only took 13 hours to freeze dry the rice and quinoa trays that I did. I was actually really surprised. I have done rice before and it took a long time. Maybe it's the type of rice. Didn't have as much water in it. I've been heating the trays and I released the vacuum so that I can pull it out. They're still pretty cold, but very, very dry. I can still taste the garlic and all the flavor that it was before. Now I just need to weigh the trays figure out how much water needs to go in it so that I can put it in bags and store it. I have made a change in the bags that I store in, and I will show you after I'm done packaging them. Okay, I have sealed the rice and quinoa. Now, some of you may have noticed that I have changed to a Mylar vacuum seal bag. It's a product by a company called Steel Pack. You can get it on Amazon or other emergency preparedness stores. I decided to try it based on 
some research that I've been doing lately. See if this holds the vacuum a little better. I did put oxygen absorbers in these. I figured out how much water needs to go in them and marked them. Uh, so I'm gonna see what a difference this Mylar vacuum bag makes over the next couple months. Maybe you can see up close here. So I'll keep you updated. I've been doing some research, more research on the type of bag and vacuum, don't vacuum, just Mylar seal pouches or whatever. And this is where I am right now. I'll let you know what more research I learned from it. But I'm really pleased with the rice and quinoa. It freeze dried really fast. And I'll bet that I could have done double what I did in here. It just would have been a lot of packets of the Costco rice and quinoa. Anyway, another one successfully done.